We know that AI can generate images. Now let's edit them. This new model called Instruct Pix to Pix does exactly that. It edits an image following a text-based instruction given by the user. Just look at those amazing results. And that's not even from OpenAI or Google with an infinite budget. It's a recent publication from Tim Brooks and collaborators at the University of California, including Prof. Alexei Ifros, a well-known figure in the computer vision industry. As you can see, the results are incredible. Feel free to also try it for yourself with the link below as they shared a demo of their model on Hugging Face, which you can use for free. What's even more incredible is how they achieve those results. Let's dive into it. But first, when speaking of generative AI, we think of many things like ChatGPT, DALI, or even video generation. I'd like to take a moment to talk about, to my knowledge, the first and only platform that integrates text generation, image generation, and video generation in one place. It's DID's Creative Reality Studio. I recently discovered DID's platform, and I must say I'm really impressed with what this tool can do, especially as a creator. It gives us the ability to easily create videos of talking avatars using some of the most advanced generative AI techniques out there, including Stable Diffusion and GPT-3, which are both used in this work I will cover here. Talk about state-of-the-art tools. The interface is super user-friendly, so even if you are new to this kind of thing, you'll be able to get the hang of it quickly without programming knowledge whatsoever. The moment I started playing around with it, my imagination started working overtime, thinking up possible use cases for cool videos talking with different historical personalities. By the way, if you have any idea of someone from the past you'd like me to interview using their creative studio, please let me know. I'm sure it can lead to fascinating discussions. I think the Creative Reality Studio has a lot of potential and I'm excited to see what people will create with it and what we can do on this channel with it too. If you are onto generating realistic media, I definitely recommend checking it out with the first link below. They also give a 20% discount for the community. Let's come back to image editing and more specifically, image editing from text instructions. This is even more complex than basic image editing with graphical suggestions using some kind of sketch or segmentation on your image to orient your model. Here, we want to take an instruction and an image and automatically edit the image based on what's being said. Your AI needs to understand both texts and then understand the image to know what to edit and how. But how does it do that? Well, they will typically need two models, one for language and one for images. Then, try to figure out a way to have both communicate and work well together. As I said, they use the popular models GPT-3 and Stable Diffusion. But these models are not in the final solution. So what did they do? And why did they need GPT-3 and Stable Diffusion? They needed both models to build a powerful dataset appropriate for the task and use it to train a more specific model, simplifying the task by teaching only one model to perform such text-based edits instead of trying to use two general and powerful models for a very specific task. Indeed, they use a version of the GPT-3 model to generate instructions and edit image captions with them. These generated new captions are then sent to generate the image along with an edited version of it thanks to a third model, prompt to prompt which can edit an image based on modifications of the text that was used to generate it. So at this point, we are using three powerful models that already have been trained in order to artificially create data for our new editing task. GPT-3 for generating text, Stable Diffusion for generating images, and finally, prompt to prompt for editing them based on the edited caption. And we end up with our immense dataset of pairs of images, along with simple instructions from our first step. More precisely, about half a million of such examples. We now only need one new model that could take an image and text as conditions to generate a new image, which will then learn from these examples to modify the initial image with the text to recreate the pair of images we see here. So it's much more simple since our new, very specific model can just learn to copy-paste this editing process through what we call a supervised learning process. It doesn't need to understand the images and the text, it just needs to understand that when the text says this, you modify this. 
it will have somewhat of an understanding of the different concepts and will be super powerful to the specific editing task on data similar to the training set, but its level of understanding will be far from the individual models we discussed and even farther from our understanding. This entirely artificially created dataset is by far the coolest part of this project, but we still need a model to leverage those data. The one in question here is called Instruct Pix to Pix, and as I said, it's available for free online if you'd like to try it. Instruct Pix to Pix is a new model based on Diffusion, which is definitely not a surprise if you've been following the channel. This is the same kind of model used by Dali or Stable Diffusion and other recent image based AIs. In fact, it is exactly Stable Diffusion, due to its power and high efficiency. I already covered the Stable Diffusion model in a video, which I will refer you to, but let's see what they did differently here. Quickly, Diffusion models use noise to generate images. Put simply, this means they will train a model to iteratively add noise, basically somewhat random values their model can control, to an initial set of random pixels in order to end up with a real image. This is thanks to a clever training process of taking image examples and randomly adding noise until the image is completely noise. We then use the reverse process to regenerate the image with our model once it learns which noise to add to reconstruct the wanted image. Again, please check out my video for a more detailed explanation of this architecture. Here, we don't only want to generate an image, but we also want to control it with our initial image and only edit what our text says. To do that, they will likely modify the existing stable diffusion architecture to allow for initial image to be sent along with the text, as the stable diffusion architecture can already take text as conditions to generate images. Then, they carefully calibrate the training process for the model to respect both the image and our desired changes. It's finally trained by trial and error to replicate our paired image. And voila! you get Instruct pix to pix which allows you to edit your images with simple text instructions. The model is super powerful and generates images in seconds. They also suggest the use of human-in-the-loop reinforcement learning, a very powerful technique that OpenAI recently used for chat GPT, and you know where this led. Of course, this was just an overview of this approach, and I definitely invite you to try it yourself with their demo and learn more about their approach by reading the paper or with the code they made publicly available. I'd love to know your thoughts on the results if you try it and where it seems to fail most often or succeed. Please share the results with our community on Discord. All the links are in the description below. Hey guys, this is Jess from DID. I hope you've enjoyed Lewis's video. I wish you an amazing week. Tune in to Lewis's channel next time for another amazing paper.